Hey everyone, today I'll be teaching you how to make surf and turf. We're gonna be making some delicious steak, lobster, and mashed potatoes. So let's get started with the video. Begin by letting your steak sit in room temperature for about 20 to 30 minutes. During the 30 minutes, we're going to make a steak rub. In a small bowl, combine half a tablespoon of salt or seasoned salt, half a tablespoon of smoked paprika, one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of dried oregano, one teaspoon of black pepper, one eighth teaspoon of cumin, 1 8 teaspoon white pepper, and finally, 1 half teaspoon of light brown sugar. Mix everything together until well combined. When you're finished, set your rub to the side. Once the 30 minutes are up, you can begin preparing your steak. Rub a bit of olive oil onto your steak. Make sure you rub olive oil onto the entire steak. Now you can add your steak rub. Make sure to add a good amount of the steak rub. Add a bit more before cooking it as well. Make sure you add the rub on each side of the steak, completely covering it. Once you're finished, you can now begin cooking your steak. Heat an iron skillet over medium to low heat. Add some olive oil. When your iron skillet is almost smoking, add your steak to the pan. Make sure you add your steak away from you. You have more control when you're laying it away from you and you can avoid splashing hot oil on your arms. Cook each side of your steak for two minutes. <gasps> Ooh, I did it! <laughs> After you flip the steak over, add some butter, garlic cloves, and time to your pan. If you want, you could also rub the garlic clove on your steak for flavor. Then, baste your steak using the melted butter in the pan. When you finish cooking each side of the steak for two minutes, place it in the oven at 375 degrees for six to seven minutes. Once your steak is finished cooking, take it out of the pan and let it rest. If you let your steak rest, it becomes juicier. Now we're gonna move on to the lobster. Cut the top of the lobster tail open. You just need to cut straight across the center. Then, carefully peel back the shell without breaking it and pull out your lobster tail meat. Once you've pulled out the lobster tail without detaching it from the shell, rinse it off and clean it, and make sure to check for any veins in the lobster meat. Place your lobster meat on a tinfoil covered baking sheet. Brush melted butter on top of your lobster tail. Then add your seasonings. The seasonings I added were pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, Old Bay, crushed red pepper flakes, and paprika. Add a bit more butter on top, 
and then place into the oven at 350 degrees for 10 to 15 minutes. Up next, we're going to be making our mashed potatoes. Clean two potatoes thoroughly. Pierce holes in each potato. Cover each potato in plastic wrap. Then place it in a microwave safe dish and cook it for about 5 minutes. After the 5 minutes are up, flip it over and cook it for another 3 minutes. After that, wrap your potato in tin foil. Then let it sit for 10 to 15 minutes. This method is supposed to make the potatoes super light and fluffy. Once the 10 to 15 minutes are up, go ahead and cut your potato open and place the insides inside a bowl. Using a potato masher, mash your potatoes. Then add 3 tablespoons of butter, 1 fourth teaspoon of salt, half a cup of heavy cream, a fourth a cup of sour cream, One ounce of cream cheese. And one fourth teaspoon of pepper. Then mix everything until well combined. And that's it, you are all finished. Now just plate everything together. And this is the final result. I'm so proud of my steak. This was my first time making steak and I'm really glad it came out well. I mixed softened butter with some minced garlic in a bowl and added it on top of my steak. And then I also had a side of garlic butter for the lobster. Truth be told, I burnt the first steak I made. This is actually my second attempt. I had to ask my brother for help because he's actually made steaks and he knows what to do. He gave me a lot of good pointers and that's why my steak came out so well this time. Alright, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Everything I used in the video will be down in the description below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!